In this case, we increased a lot the, the vented reinforcement. We have increased it up to 20 millimeters, the diameter from 6, 16 to 20, and we have increased the area from 200 square millimeters to 6, 600. So now, and also we don't have here compression reinforcement, so now just the behavior we expect to have failure due co to compression and not much uh, yelling on reinforcement, okay? Analyzing the next example, we can see here, let's plot results. We are going to plot the same result. Now it, the model stopped converging with 23 steps. And if we plot the curve, we can see we have more or less a linear behavior. And then at this point, suddenly, completely a loss of the of the stiffness of the beam and the two steps are without any type of of, of force uh, of reaction force on from the beam so what i'm going to plot not the last because the last only just three for that 19 20. so let's see what's happening in my model first i'm going to plot a uh, cracking maximum principal crack strain. I can see I have some cracks developed here. I'm going to plot average values, but they are not so much as I had before. Pending cracking, but they are just a small. I mean, they don't cross all the section as they were doing some cracks. Let's see what happens with reinforcement. In this case, we are having, let's plot equivalent plastic strain. And we can see there's no yielding. So while well, we are not having problems about the tension in this model, no yielding in, in steel. You can see between zero and minus zero, uh, green is no yielding. And now let's plot what's happening in concrete. Concrete equivalent plastic strain, which means compression, compression failure. So well, we can see just on the, the points where we are applying these loads, we have higher compression loads, and in this load step is around 0.25%. Uh, we increase it that value, we just advance, we increase the load, so just in this step it's 0.29%. This is, the, this is the undeformed shape, but we can always plot the, the yes, deformed shape as well. The, so we can see that in, in step 21, this is the, the format set that can be scaled. Three, an example that is scaled plot. And well, we can see at this point we have almost, and we are almost in the limit, 0 0.0032, and limit is in 35. So our well, next step, it collapses and it doesn't convert. Those are the results we, as we saw here, results comes here, and then compression of concrete, and suddenly, uh, slowly collapse. So it's a brittle behavior of concrete when it is due to compression over reinforced sections. So uh, if I see the, these results, I can see here the test compression is broken from the support, from the loads that I am applying to different loads at half meter. Here we can see we are applying a load here and another load here. So we have failure instead in the center, as we saw before, it starts where we are applying the loads, and also in the test, as only collapse at 90 uh, kilonewtons. So uh, if we com compare the crack patterns, not high crack cracks for bending, I mean, not penetrating a lot, short, similar. CR are longer, but not, uh, not very wide, and crashing zones, which is the most important. Uh, and which is the failure of this model. So here in this in this video, we are going to compare the real test. Here we will plot cracking, and here we will plot compression, uh, deformation, and crashing. And this we will see just the load, the, the relationship between load and, and vertical displacement. So we can see first cracking has start appearing here and here, similar. CR cracking has start appearing, and then here just crashing. Crashing happens. Let's see the video first, uh, just again, cracking the bottom of the test and also in civil frame model. And just when we are reaching the maximum load, here we can see crashing at the same time that it happens in the real test. Yeah, we can see the flexion versus load. 
it happens at about uh, in the real test about uh, 14 millimeters and 90 kilonewton and with civil frame it happens uh, with a lower deflection so uh, we are having just like a 90 90 kilonewtons and 11 deflection so the accuracy is very close i have to say we are using code and standard uh, values for this mm, just concrete as a small variation so uh, maybe testing the real compression behavior the real relationship between compression uh, the stress strain relationship we could have a much more accuracy results so we have finished this interesting video example uh, if you have uh, more questions always stay tuned to the virtual classroom to forums and you can contact us by email as well thank you very much see you in the free course